Hi, today we are going to talk about sugar and why it is very bad for your body, especially if you are trying to lose weight, or if you are trying to watch your body weight. We are also going to talk about foods and drinks that you should consume in moderation because they have very high amounts of sugar. And finally, we will talk about healthy substitutes for sugar. Keep watching. So in a series of videos, we are going to be talking about choices that you can make to accelerate your weight loss or to maintain your healthy weight. And today we are going to be starting with sugar. Now, I don't care if you are overweight, obese, or consider yourself to have healthy weight. If you are an adult, you need to either cut out sugar from your diet or consume it in moderation. And here is why. Number one, sugar is made up of empty calories. Sugar has no nutrients, it has no vitamins, no minerals, no fiber, just zero nutritional value. In fact, you might as well go and just eat pepper because you will get the same amount of nutrients, zero. So why eat it? Number two, sugar makes you feel more hungry. Now, in a study done by Yale University, it was found that those who consumed sugar had increased appetite and increased desire for more food than those who did not consume sugar. So not only does sugar fill you with empty calories, but it makes you want to consume more of those empty calories as well. Number three, sugar blocks leptin and increases insulin to very high levels. Now leptin is a hormone which is charged with telling us that we are full and we should stop eating. What sugar does is that it blocks leptin from reaching your brain and therefore you don't get the memo that you've had enough food to eat. So what happens is you keep eating and eating and eating and the only way to know that you've had enough food then is by getting the aching tummy or by feeling bloated then you stop eating but remember now you've had excess food in your body. Number four, sugar increases belly fat. Numerous studies have been done and it has shown direct links between the consumption of sugar and increase in accumulation of belly fat. You can find links to this study in the description as well. And despite knowing all this, it's hard to stop consuming sugar. Why? Because sugar is addictive. And that in itself leads us to number five. Sugar is very addictive. Similar to drugs like cocaine, scientists have found that sugar causes a release of dopamine to the brain. And we have found very sweet ways of glorifying this addiction by using words like, I have a sweet tooth. My friend, you're just addicted to sugar. And number five, sugar accelerates your aging process. Sugar can give you the appearance of wrinkles and make you look much, much older than the first time you are. This is backed by a study that was done by scientists at Leiden Medical University in the Netherlands. And you can find links to this research in the description as well. Now, how do we get all this sugar into our bodies? Number one is the refined sugar. Refined sugar, I mean the one we take in tea. Most of us take a cup of tea in the morning and in the evening. And how many teaspoons of sugar do you take? Some take two, some take three. So if you took three in the morning and three in the evening, that's six teaspoons of sugar in one day. And some take even more than that. Some take a cup of coffee in the afternoon. Now, so imagine in the, just one single day, you've taken over 10 teaspoons of sugar just through your tea. Source of sugar, number two are soft drinks by this i refer to drinks like soda um, processed juices do you know that a bottle of soda on average contains about seven teaspoons of sugar and a can of soda contains about 10 teaspoons of sugar as well same goes for energy drinks uh, same goes for processed juices and all these things they contain so much sugar so just by taking one bottle of soda, you've taken seven teaspoons of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. If you take two in a day, that's 14 teaspoons of sugar. Just two bottles of soda. It's a lot of sugar for your body. Source of sugar number three is going to be confectionaries. By these, I refer to things like cake, uh, cake, donuts, uh, cookies, and all these things. A slice of cake on average contains eight teaspoons of sugar. So if you've had tea plus cake, how much sugar are you taking in your body? Sugar sauce number four is going to be sweets and candies. Now, many of us love to take some sweets, right? Love sweets, we love taking some candy, but actually some sweets are just purely sugar, you know? You, so you get a lump of sugar and you lick it, just to feel good. 
Some contain more than others, but almost all of them contain absurd amounts of sugar. Common source of sugar number four is going to be ice cream. Ice cream. Do you know that a scoop of ice cream on average contains about four teaspoons of sugar? Let's talk about healthy substitutes for sugar. Um, my number one recommended substitute for sugar is called stevia. Stevia is a natural leaf that is just harvested, dried, and ground into a powder and turned into a form like this. So when you go to any supermarket near you, you can buy stevia. There are very, very many brands that make this product. So you can buy any brand as long as you make sure that it has no additives in it. It has no chemicals added to it. It's just green leaf stevia, just green in color and just like in powder form. This stuff lasts a very, very long time because all you need in a cup of tea is maximum half a teaspoon of this stuff to give you the taste almost similar to two or three uh, teaspoons of sugar in a cup of tea, right? So it does not taste one to one the same as sugar but you get the sweetness similar to that of sugar, right? So it's very, very healthy, it's organic, it's natural, and has zero calories. Some people will recommend uh, honey, but I don't, because remember honey is 60% uh, fructose and 40% uh, glucose, so, right? So this 40% glucose, if you take honey, uh, imagine morning with your tea, and take it uh, in the evening with your tea as well, and some people take tea in the fun as well, this 40% glucose starts to compound and add up as a lot of glucose in your body. So I don't recommend honey as a substitute for sugar. Yes, honey is healthy if you take it uh, every now and then. It's very, very healthy. It has nutrients as well for your body. But as a substitute for sugar, I don't recommend it. Now, after watching this video, if you still need convincing to stop taking sugar or to regulate the sugar, that you take, I recommend that you watch Dr. Eric Bag's video and you get a medical perspective on why sugar is not safe for you and healthy for you. I will link this video in the description and it also appear somewhere in the card at the end of the video. And don't forget, if you want to buy our slimming tea, it's still available on sale. Just click a link in the description and make your order and start on your slimming journey. We do deliver to Kampala for free of charge and also up country in Uganda at a very reasonable cost. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. Peace.